been looking to try out some different nail art products or you want to know kind of my thoughts on some of the new releases that have come out. Welcome back to another video on my channel. We are going to do a little bit of a haul today. It is some items from Black Friday that I picked up as well as a bunch of PR items that were sent to me. So we have some items from Nail Career Education, which is exciting. I've never tried her products before. I have some stuff from Orly that they sent me as well. Again, I tried Orly years ago, like when I first started, uh, but it's been a while. So I'm looking forward to swatching those too. And then some of my Black Friday finds. There is a sticker decal company that I have been dying to try. And so I ordered some products from them. And then we have some repeat like staple products that I get from some of the nail suppliers too. Again, some kind of like more Christmas wintery type of stuff, but a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So if you've been looking to try out some different nail art products, or you want to know kind of my thoughts on some of the new releases that have come out, stay tuned. This is going to be a really fun video to watch. And Nail Career Education sent me two collections of their gel polish. It's like a jelly collection. Oh, Blossom. This is a blossoming gel. And then they also sent me their black and white, which I, I really appreciate when companies do that because I like, I like trying out what different companies offer for their black and whites. And then this collection is so cool. Um, I'll double check the name on it. Platinum Glitter Collection. Is that what they called it? I want to start with this glitter collection because it is just such a cool collection and the packaging for nail career education is really nice i like this sleek kind of matte look um, that matches like the rest of their her brand uh so pink confetti i think that's what it was called it was like a confetti collection and it's so cool because they have all these really neat flakes on them oh i just love it like how good is this going to be for layering again a, a product that is going to expand your already existing nail art collection is six different colors in the collection so we have the pink which is nice there's also the blue confetti and it is a brighter blue like this would be so good like embedded and then done with a matte top coat and, uh, and then some stamping on top of that that would be so pretty and i just want to make sure that it when it cures it doesn't yellow let's check that pink one okay like how cool would that look look like a french tip like that and then just this as your cuticle part green confetti and it is like a bright green flake there is mauve confetti and this is a lighter pink and we have these type of collections that have see-through sparkles or anything like brands kind of play it safe like they'll do like gold or silver or rose gold that sort of thing uh, but it's nice to see some fun colors with this collection because i personally love that <laughs> we do have a gold confetti here but it's more of a yellow gold which is fantastic for this time of year and the last one that we have is red confetti and it's just a bold bright red Oh, I just love this. I'm so excited for these. I think I'm going to keep these right on my desk because I feel like I would use these quite often for layering. And here is all of the different options from this collection. These are going to be really fun. And I know how I said, like, a lot of brands play it safe and I love how these are all different colors. I would like to see like a silver and like a white and a black. That would be really cool too. Or a mixed one with like all of these mixed. That would be really neat. But I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this is super exciting to me. Okay, I went through and swatched these all. So we'll talk about them as they come out of the light here. So we have the pink one. This one is really pretty. Then there's like an orangey brown one. It's kind of like an amber. That one would work really well for tortoise nails. Then there's a really pretty yellow one. I really like this one. That one applied so cool. And then a green, again, would be excellent for Christmas. And there is also a blue, which would be great for ocean nails. And then the purple went on very sheer, which these are just done in one coat, so you could easily build these up. Um, but I like that this went on sheer because I have a different one that is like more of a brighter uh, purple, and I think this would look fantastic kind of marbled in with it. So this is a really cool little collection too. Some files and some buffers as well, with like a whole description of 
like how you would use each one when you would use it, which I think is a very good idea to include. Actually, if you were more of a DIY nail artist, uh, this is some really good information about the different files that they offer. Also, brushes. Brushes. I have them just sitting on my desk here uh, because I really liked the size of these brushes. Um, there's some really, really fine options for different hand painting. I've used some of these, which you guys will see. But they're all different like striper brushes, different sizes of striper brush. Uh, really pretty rose gold on the ends here, and then they fade into this pretty ombre. So I have been using these. These are uh, pretty nice brushes. I'm enjoying the weight of them as well as using them. Glad that I just had them on my desk or else I would have completely forgot to show them to you guys. Orly reached out to me and asked me if I had tried their products. Now, I have been a nail tech since 2009 and I tried their products years ago. Uh, one of their products actually, this one, Qtik, I love. I love this as a cuticle softener, mostly for myself. I did use it on uh, clients that had like the really, really thick cuticles back in the day, um, but I wanted this mostly for myself. But I really, really liked this product. And then I have tried, actually, if you guys have been here for a long time, their Orly Instant Artist. They're a water-based paint, and then they also had like a, a lacquer as well, like a nail polish. And those were amazing. Those were like my ride or die nail art items back in the day. Uh, so I have tried Orly before. It has just been a while. So I picked out a couple items to play around with. This is their winter collection that they came out with. And then I have a couple other products too that I grabbed and we're just gonna talk about them. So first up was the Orly Cutique. Um, I'm really excited to have this back. I really, really like this product. They do have two different options for I think most of their gel polishes, like for sizes. They're, they have their nine mil and then they also have, I wanna say this is 18. Yeah, 18 mil. So this is a really good option if you're wanting to like try new colors for different collections or you have collections that your clients are gonna use very often or go through very often. Maybe seasonal would be a better option or you can have the bigger ones if they're ones that you're gonna go through quite often. So generally the small ones are what are gonna work best for me in my studio. So I was excited that they had that option. First up we have Sugar Plum Soiree. This is a really cool color. It is like a plum pink type of color, but it has like an iridescent purple look to it. I thought this was a really, really neat shade. And this is definitely gonna need two coats. I find this gel polish to be quite like runny actually. <laughs> So if that is a consistency that you prefer to work with, this would definitely be a good option. I am gonna cure that and I'm gonna do a second coat and it's got like a pearl finish of a purple on it. So that's really pretty. It's not too dark, it's not too light. That would be a really good choice all year round. This is called Spark and it is like rose gold flex. So the nice thing about this is you can add this to any color that you're working with. And I love products that are gonna extend the life of your existing like polish collection. I'm actually just gonna do this right on top of the sugar plum color. Like, mm-hmm, how cool is that? And you can like concentrate your sparkles just to like one area, just kind of like we did over there. The red in the collection is called Velvet Ribbon. Ooh, okay, this is kind of an interesting color. It's kind of like a burnt red. While that cures, we're gonna look at this one. This one's called Snow Angel. And this is a really pretty light blue. And I feel like light blue has been really popular this year. I don't have too many press on orders right now, but I see it in so many people's like nail art and like anything that's kind of trending has like more of this really nice light blue type of shade to it. This one is really pretty because it's almost like an off white blue. Okay, let's go back in and do another coat of that velvet ribbon. What an interesting shade of red. Like it is not too bright, it's not too dark. It's a little bit more on the burnt side. Yeah, I definitely feel be, feel like we could do another coat with this, but it does look pretty okay on its own too. This one is Regal Pine. Okay, I feel like we're all kind of on the search for that really nice like dark green type of color for this time of year. I know I have been trying, oops, I have been trying out a bunch of different greens to try and find the perfect green for this time of year. So I'm excited about this. This is dark. I'm excited to see this with a second coat. 
I think this is really gonna darken up nicely. And this is that velvet ribbon, red. It's a really nice red color. Kind of reminds me of like a fireplace. Sorry, I was seeing if it was tack free. Um, kind of reminds me of like your fireplace red. Ooh, this is pretty now that we've deepened this up. Oh, that is a great dark green. And then the last shade in the collection is Cozy Night. And this is a pretty teal. Ooh, this is a beautiful teal. We actually have a teal accent wall in our living room of our new house and this reminds me of it. I'm trying to convince my husband that we should paint the entire wall or that we should paint the entire room that teal color because it is just so beautiful. Um, Snow Angel, beautiful light blue, Regal Pine, Sugar Plum with the spark on top of it. So that is two of the different shades. And then the Cozy Nights. What a fun collection and just some like good solid staple colors for a collection I feel like. Okay, so the other items I picked up in addition to that were this one, which is called Snow Worries. I have really been into these kind of neutral sparkle colors. They just work so good for backgrounds of nail art. So I saw this one and I thought this would be really good for, um, I liked that this one had like a peachy look to it too. And then it's got a super, super soft shimmer. What a pretty color. Another color that I grabbed is this one, this shade shifter. Um, so I believe this changes color with temperature. So it can go on dark and then it would change to a lighter color when it gets warmer, I believe. So it's good for layering if you wanna create those kind of peekaboo looks that change color with the temperature. So it's kind of looks like a milky um, gray. When you first put it on, we're gonna do two colors. Look at this. It's already changed colors to like the milky see-through look. Okay, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be so fun. And then the last color that I have is this one, which is called Kick Glass. Um, if I'm trying a new to me brand, I like to look for products that, again, are going to expand my already existing collection. Uh, so that's kind of what I thought this one was going to be. I thought this would be good for layering. And it's got some really fun different flake colors in it that hopefully I can use on top of other colors. This is cool. I'm excited for this. I think that's going to be such a fun addition to my nail art collection. And then the kick glass just on the corner here. Okay, so those are all the items from Orly. Um, small shop find these were sent to me by chloe and i am so excited to try out her matte top coat oh my gosh matte top coat and no wipe glossy top coat i've heard very good things about her top coats and she is a press on artist who does so much in the industry like it just blows my mind all the different things that she offers uh so her main thing i guess main thing that she started with was press-ons. She has built up an, an amazing press-on business and she also offers a press-on nail academy. So she does online training like to create press-ons and I just admire so much all the different things that she is doing. So she sent me her uh, top coat to try. I have played around with the no wipe top coat already. Um, not enough to give like my feedback on it. I want to use it in combination with stamping a little bit more and then her matte top coat. So thank you so much for sending these to me, Chloe. I'm so, so excited to try those out. A couple other Black Friday orders that came in. I placed an order with Nail Techniques for... I was looking at getting... Uh, nail stands because the Ugly Duckling ones were on sale uh, for Black Friday. Really, really like the Ugly Duckling stands. You guys have seen them on my channel for a long time. Uh, they are these ones. And what I like about these, they're crystal, so they're really heavy. And then the magnets in them are super, super strong. And this one is good for like if you separate the hands, obviously. I work with my nail designs, I think of like right hand, left hand. And even when I'm designing like press-ons, working on clients, that's how I think of it. So I like having the separated hands. Um, and I was gonna order a couple more of those. And then I saw these ones from Nail Techniques. And I decided to grab these instead because they are a 10 piece. They are metal. It is nowhere near as good a quality as the Ugly Duckling uh, metal stands. Um, the magnets are decent though. And I feel like it has a decent weight to it when you get them all on. Uh, but I thought this would be really good for if you're just doing more of a simple set. 
The only downside is that, ob like, I'm going to say obviously, but maybe some people have bigger lamps. These don't fit in my lamp, so I have to like angle it to get my five in and then angle it to get my other five. But so far I'm pretty happy with them. So it comes in a silver and a clear, and then it also comes in this really pretty iridescent and a gold. And then I also grabbed new pump bottles, um, which you guys kind of saw leaking at the beginning. I grabbed, I really like these pump bottles. I have them in white, um, but I wanted like a pink and a purple one, but I'm really struggling to pump these, like really, really struggling. And I have cut the end on it to see if it would like pull up more a little bit easier. I'm not too, sh I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's a user issue though, not like those stands themselves. I did pick up an ugly duckling stick it as well. You place an order with Nail Techniques on Black Friday. They sent you like a special <laughs> gel, which I think is just so fun. And it's this really pretty silver. So any, I think anybody who placed the order got this on Black Friday. So that's kind of cool. Order with Canada Nail Supplies. So I know I had ordered uh, some Opres tips from them as well. I needed a size six almond. So Harry Potter stickers, yes please. I've done tons of Harry Potter sets. If you guys have been following my press-ons, uh, they had, I believe, five different Harry Potter sticker options, which I thought was so fun. Um, I love this. I hope they do this with like all of the different um, houses. And then these Dark Wings ones. I actually did an, an Akator set recently and I wish I had had these. Um, and then this purple one, which is more of like a, a witchy set of decals. I'm so excited for those. Just plates from Moira. We have this one, which is called Winterfest. And then these are the images. There are a couple layered ones on here. Uh, a lot of different fonts. I just love these plates. Like anytime they release new ones, I'm all over it. They did come out with a perfect French plate. So it's got some smaller, um, some deeper Frenches here. It's also just got like the lines to guide you. And then it also has these kind of fun images, which this one here would be fantastic for winter nails. This one, Globetrotter America. My press on shop is like insanely slow. Um, but these ones are really good for different travel nails that come in the summer, which I don't know if I'm gonna get any, but if I do, I'm prepared. And I really like this Canadian image down here. That would be great for watercolor. Textures plate. They, this is the textures number three plate that they recently came out with. This splatter one is really neat there. We have this one, which is kind of like a Wednesday inspired plate, but it's also more goth images. I love these like dangling keys over here. And then the scenery down here, just such a fun plate. This one is called Gothical. I know I have a couple clients who are gonna like this. Hi, it has some really cool images on it too. Kind of like lace goth images. And this one is skins. So it's kind of like a layering plate. Some of these images here are like more of the insides and then we've got outsides there and then uh, some different patterns. I ordered these two little embellishments. I liked the star one because I do do a lot of images where I wish I had 3D stars. Plus like with Christmas, you can top trees with them. And then uh, this one is more of an oceany one, I believe. It's got some anchors there and some shells, some starfish, just some different like unique kind of embellishments that I don't have in my collection. I did grab three of these uh, gel polish colors from Canada Nail Supplies as well. Um, I have really been into these kind of neutral sparkly colors for backgrounds. So I grabbed this one, which is kind of like more of a caramel color, sandstorm crystals. This should be like a taupe with some sparkles, kind of pulling a little bit more gray. Um, and then this one, which I'm hoping, are you, oh, it's a, just a solid dark green, but I'm on the hunt for like the best dark green. So I thought I would try those and see. Okay, AR nail supplies. I got my Holy Grail top coat in like a big pack. This is my Holy Grail top coat. And then I also, because I was placing an order, I needed to get the free shipping. Uh, Ugly Duckling's new winter collection and this color stood out to me. Uh, it is a black sparkle. And I am always on the hunt for a good black sparkle. It's kind of hard to find in gel polish format. So I thought this one would be really good for that. Just needed a few different like restocks of my existing ones. Uh, this one is Capri Blue in the smaller sizes. This one is, oh, I cannot remember the name of this one, um, light turquoise and then this dark green one. Um, and then I did grab one of Ugly Duckling's new brushes. They have a couple of them. This one I thought I would be really good for 
it's designed for um, like painting flowers, but I thought it'd be good for marbling gels. It's just a really, really small head and it's like pretty unique from anything that I have in my collection. Um, and I did not know this, but AR Nail Supplies actually sells uh, some Magpie products. So I grabbed two of these dust ones, which I thought I'd be able to use them either for sugaring or for chrome. This was one of the Black Friday orders that I was waiting for. This took forever to get to me. Uh, no fault at all of the company. It, I never, I've never heard of the carrier that was used for it, but like this package went on a journey. Like she went to Jamaica, then I think she went to New York, then she eventually came to Canada. It, it was ridiculous, but it eventually made its way to me. Uh, too late to use for Christmas nail art, but that's okay because I can use it next year. I saw Katie share this on this brand on social media and I thought it was so cool. So they include a cute little sticker uh, sheet in the order which I think is so fun and then this is the brand so deco beauty and they are nail art stickers uh, so not water decals anything like that but what drew me to them is like the little raised look of them I thought that was cute and the size I think these are excellent sizes for definitely shorter nail beds or like medium nail beds but you can also kind of layer these a little bit uh, for longer nail beds which I think is excellent uh, so this is the first one it is gingerbread this one is called sparkle and I was so happy to see this one in my order because I knew I wanted this one, wasn't sure if I ordered it, saw it on their social media, and I was thinking, dang, I really hope I ordered that, and I did, because I think this is so cute, all the different star shapes. Uh, this one, they, this kind of reminds me, this and another one, reminds me of those stick-on earrings that you could get back in the 90s, so I had to grab it. Uh, really cute Christmas one, and again, I really like the size of the decals on here. Excellent for shorter nail beds. Another um, holiday one. This one is rainbow. Loved the pastel look of this one and especially the clouds, the stars, those I would definitely use. This to me, I immediately think fall, but I also think this will be good all year round. And I love the little mushrooms. This is the other one that I was talking about that reminds me of earrings, stick on earrings from the 90s. Super small. Like I think you can make a really cute, tie these in with crystals and make like a really cute cluster. And then the little trolls, that's what sold me on this one, let's be real. Oh, and the gummy bears, I love the little gummy bears. And then another rainbow one here with some gummy bears. And they have a whole variety of really cute ones. These are just what I narrowed it down to. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely comment below and let me know if you've tried any of these products or what you're kind of thinking with your first impressions. If you've never heard of them or haven't tried them yet, I would love to know your guys' feedback. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you in my next video. Bye.